So I had this question last year. I, um, it's a difficult question to answer up on a panel with co-ed and single-sex schools. Um, I went to an all-girls school, and I've worked at two different all-girls schools, so I'm going to take it from a very personal place. Um, but I think you, you keep hearing that you have to find the fit. And as you're all starting to do your research of what might be the right fit for your child, that is part of that research um, component that you're gonna have to decipher whether a co-ed school is the right fit or a, a single sex school. And that, that's a very personal choice for you and your child to, to make and where they feel like they belong. Um, at Havergal, we've been um, educating girls for over 120 years, so we think we're, we're doing something really great there with all the research um, that we've, we've looked into about how girls learn differently than boys. Um, and there is a lot of research that does, does say that you know, boys and girls, it's not what they can learn, it's how they learn um, that is different. Their minds, their bodies, everything develops at different rates. And, and differently. So our classrooms are set up to enhance girls' learning uh, because we know that girls learn through collaboration, conversation, and connections that they make with other people. Boys' classrooms at other uh, single-sex boys' schools are set up so that boys can move around, uh, can focus on one thing at a time, can, um, you know, be focused on a moving teacher, don't even sit at desks sometimes. Um, so these things are, are you know, embedded in research of, of how girls and boys learn differently. Um, for us at Havergal, the thing that we value the most with the single sex in the classroom is the confidence that that brings and their ability to take risks because of the confidence that they have amongst their, their peers. And we see it every day um, in the classroom about um, you know asking questions and participating and just feeling comfortable. And those kind of situations make kids take risks. And those risks uh, build resilience and build more confidence. And we also see research that says that once they leave our single sex schools, that confidence, resilience, and risk taking uh, allows them to move on to post secondary with you know, ease. It doesn't mean when they get to university they kind of panic and, oh my gosh, I've never been with boys before. Um, because we also give them many, many opportunities co curricularly and socially to. Um, engage with the opposite sex, and we think that's important too. We know it's a co-ed world. Uh, most of the independent girls and boys schools belong to an organization called COSSET, uh, which uh, provides and, and works with the schools to come up with events that are age appropriate and supervised. I think there was an event last night, a bowl bowling night between some girls schools and Royal St. George's. Um, so they, they give these kids opportunities to engage socially outside of the classroom. Um, some of our teams, like uh, Crescent and, and Havergal has a co-ed ultimate frisbee team. Uh, the girls love that. I coach track and in grade 11 when they can be on that team they all go and play with the boys. Um, so we know that they, they enjoy those, those opportunities to debate and to participate in other co-curriculars with, with boys. But inside the classroom we feel that it is um, truly a place where they can focus and not have those, those distractions. Um, I think that, you know, I am a little bit biased and I know that, uh, again, it is a personal choice for you to find the right fit for your child and, you know, my children actually went to co-ed schools, um, but, you know, and they, they did very well as well, so it's, there's, it's really a personal choice when it comes down to finding what works best.